Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interesting life.com. Joining me as ever is Sarah. Hiya. And today we're off out on a very abandoned stretch of canal down on the Montgomery Canal. You can see the great big aqueduct over the River Vianway there and this random structure just next to it as well. And yeah, Sarah, let's dive in. What are your thoughts on seeing this place? It was very rural and overgrown. Certainly as well, you can see from the screen here, it was extremely overgrown. There was a lot of new gates about though, so it's obviously been taken care of to some extent. But... Yeah, it's all part of the restoration now, you can see it's, it's the perfect example, as you say, you've got new lock gates here. With this fascinating lock paddle mechanism that I'm not familiar with, as you can see, it's got this great big cog here, and that's something that I was probably a little bit overexcited to see and yeah. go get, and get close up to and have a look at. Randy. Oh, well, yes, yeah, quite literally. <laughs> but yeah, as you've seen it, and you'll see later in this video, it is extremely overgrown and extremely abandoned in its current state. But I suppose, really, that's one of the things that at this moment, for walking down it and just seeing it and how all the stuff's grown up across the canal and that, it gives it that sort of fairy tale look and a bit of an otherworldly sort of almost spooky feeling in some parts of like, wow, it's a forgotten world and so on. It stopped at some point, didn't it, for the road to go like through it practically? Yeah, I think in just a moment we'll be seeing that actual uh, dropped bridge. There used to be an old humpback bridge at one point, like what we've stood under here, which was completely removed, so the canal does literally just have a road running through it, which certainly doesn't help the uh, flow of water to take away some of this overgrown uh, area, although not what we're actually looking at now, typically, as I say that. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, and it took me a while to figure out the freeze frame mechanism on this, to hold that on the screen for you for a moment, but I just enjoyed this little thing saying that you couldn't bike on the towpaths and fear into the old Shropshire Union railways and canal company. And I don't know, these little bits of history. Yeah, it was an old sign, isn't it? So yeah. Um, oh yeah, that's the bridge that is no longer a bridge and the road just crosses the canal there. Again, like I say, you can see how much that really does make this section of canal into basically a big pond. And certainly, yeah. I wouldn't fancy taking Tilly down there, I'll say that much. I don't think you'd get very far, would you? No, I don't think I could carry her on me back that far either, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, any final thoughts? Any random things you'd like to throw in? No, it was just a nice, peaceful walk. Oh, well, yeah. Have a gander's. Indeed, you were particularly taken by one lonesome cow that there was, was... There was a poor little cow under, under one of the archways and on the aqueduct. Oh yeah, he made us feel... Stuck in the mud. Yeah, made us feel very sad for a moment. I did feel sorry for him. But then, as soon as we approached him, he ran off and all was well in the world again. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been a Dan and Sarah Adventures video where I have once again talked an awful lot. I can only apologise. Um... Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm all good, mate. Okie doke, right. I'll take that as my cue to bring this video to a swift end then. Right, as usual, check out my other videos for loads of canal stuff, and outdoors, walking, and goodness knows what else. Consider checking out my books about boat life, search Amazon for The Narrow Boat Lad, or find links to all that and much, much more in the description below. Until the next time, though, keep it boat-worthy, keep it boat-worthy, and of course, farewell. Bye.